Sleep paralysis is a temporary and relatively common sleep disorder that occurs when a person is unable to move or speak while transitioning between wakefulness and sleep. The experience can be distressing and may include vivid hallucinations and a sense of impending doom. Despite its prevalence, the science behind sleep paralysis is not fully understood, and it can be a mysterious and even terrifying experience for those who experience it. During sleep, the body goes through different stages, including non-REM sleep and REM, rapid eye movement, sleep. Non-REM sleep is characterized by deep sleep and a relaxed state, while REM sleep is characterized by dreaming, rapid eye movements, and a temporary paralysis of the body known as REM atonia. This is a natural and protective mechanism to prevent the body from acting out dreams during sleep. However, sleep paralysis occurs when the brain and body are not properly synchronized during the transition between wakefulness and sleep. This can happen when a person wakes up during REM sleep and the body is still in a state of REM atonia. The person is awake and aware of their surroundings, but they are unable to move or speak and may experience hallucinations. The exact cause of sleep paralysis is not known, but several factors have been linked to it, including sleep disorders such as insomnia and narcolepsy, irregular sleep patterns, and certain medications. Stress and anxiety can also be a contributing factor. It can also happen to people who have a family history of the disorder and those who have sleep disorders such as narcolepsy. The symptoms of sleep paralysis can vary from person to person, but they typically include an inability to move or speak, vivid hallucinations, and a sense of impending doom, plus a feeling of pressure on the chest. Some people may also experience auditory and visual hallucinations. These symptoms can last anywhere from a few minutes to several hours. Treatment options for sleep paralysis include lifestyle changes, such as maintaining a regular sleep schedule, avoiding alcohol and caffeine, and practicing good sleep hygiene. Medications such as antidepressants and melatonin can also be used to treat sleep paralysis. Cognitive behavioral therapy is another effective treatment option. It helps to reduce the frequency and intensity of sleep paralysis episodes by changing negative thoughts and behaviors associated with the condition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.